alumni game about to begin. This is QCC student David Russell. A different format today in the alumni game. <laughs> Ref dribbled it off his foot. The alumni have been split in two for this 20 minute period. Blue versus red. Then the teams will combine forces and take on the current team in a full 40 minute game. Air ball to start off. Clock never got started. Now the clock starts. Don't know if they're going to run off another 15 seconds or so. The red team is considered home, the blue team considered away. That shot is off. Drives to the hole, missed. Offensive rebound, put back is good. Blue team leads 2 0. Red team considered home. Forty-five seconds in, two nothing, blue team. Three pointer is good. Five nothing. Red team only has six players. Makes the coaching fairly easy. Three pointer couldn't answer back. Knocked out of bounds, he'll go back to the blue team. Teams probably will conserve some energy for the full alumni game where the two teams team up and take on the current team. Shot sent away. May have gotten away with the traveling, puts it in, now it's 6 nothing. That shot I had listed as a three-pointer was actually a two. That was the second shot. Now two minutes in, blue team leading six nothing. That's a three-pointer, it's good. Cuts the lead in half, it's six three blue team. That's a two. It's good. 8-3 lead for the blue team. Two-pointer. Close to the three-point line. It was just inside. That's a three-pointer off the mark. Put back is good. 8-5, blue team leading. Three minutes in. That shot is off, rebounded, shot clock doesn't reset. Still at 15. Turnover, red team with it now. Fast break opportunity, layup no good. Three on one. It's now 8-7, blue team. Sixteen twenty to go in the first half, 8-7, blue team. That's a two, missed. Offensive rebound, loose ball. Jump ball. Possession arrow gives it to the red team. Sub comes in.
Red team trying to take their first lead. Shot in the corner is missed, rebounded by Requeno. Blue team trying to extend their lead. That's a three-pointer. Offensive rebound, lost it. Red team with it now. Under 15 and a half minutes remaining in the first half. That's a two. Red team can't take their first lead. Pushing it in the lane, floater. Rims out, still 8-7, blue team. That's a three. Offensive rebound and the putback is good. Red team leads 9-8. They've scored nine of the last 11 points. Blue team had a 6-0 lead. That's a three-pointer. Out of bounds, red team will get it back. basically a warm up in the alumni game and that three is good. 12-8. Like now it's 12 of the last 14 points. Dominique Williams with it, gives it up. That's a two pointer. Shot is short, got her own rebound. Kick out, three pointer. Short, rebounded again, air ball. Red team can't get a rebound. Now they can. Red team has it back up by four. The game of runs, that's a three pointer. It's good. 15 8. Blue team scored the first six. Red team scored 15 of the last 17. 15-8 lead for the red team. Six and a half minutes in. Tries to answer back with the three of her own and does. 15-11. Tipped. Goes out of bounds, stays with the red team. It's another three-pointer. Couldn't hit that one. Air ball. Blue team comes away with it. 15-11, red team leading. Williams. That's a two. Couldn't hit. Gets thrown rebound. Left alone in the corner. That's a three. Couldn't hit that one. Red team trying to extend their lead. Up by four points in the lane, the layup is good. 17-11. It's like street ball, no defense, no rebounding. Red team with 17 of the last 22 points. That's an air ball. Goes back to the red team. Subs coming. Jump shot is good. He's right in her face. It's nineteen eleven.
First free throws of the game. Nicole Johnson hits the first. That one rims out. Williams rebounds it. Dominique Williams is fouled and she'll go to the line for two. Eleven thirty-nine to go, nineteen twelve, red team. Splits the free throws now nineteen thirteen. Red team out in front. Back to her on one dribble. Three pointer from the corner, air ball. Rebounded by Williams. Has a three on two. Sandy Ruquino gives it back to Dominique. Williams can't hit. And a foul is called. The hat, blue 21. Joke foul by Williams. Pushing Nikki Tabiri. Tabiri inbounding. That was the first foul of the game. Stolen. Trying to push it. It's a tough shot. Nicole Johnson makes it 19-15. Still 10.55 to go. Can't hit that one, rebounded. Back. 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 Cassandra Swainder with the rebound. Blue team can cut the lead in half. Williams lost it momentarily. That's a three pointer, it's good. Simone Leathers makes it 19-18. Red team up by one, 10-15 to go. Nicole Slish brings it up. Walks it up. 2-3 defense. His own defense. Marissa Bell. Bell off the side of the board. Shot clock down to five. Down to three. Got to put it up. Three pointer beats the shot clock. Swish makes it 22-18. 9.40 to go. Dominique Williams. Leathers again, can't hit that one. Red team pushes it up. Marissa Bell for three, it's good. 25-18. And timeout is called by the blue team. With 9.18 to go, red team leads 25-18. team has it down by seven. Nine ten remaining. Williams has it, gives it to Leathers. Leathers makes her move, spin move, lost it. Williams for three. Can't hit, rebounded. Red team with it. 
Under nine minutes to play. Dangerous pass, got away with it. It's a three pointer, can't hit. Blue team with it now. They have numbers. Three on two break behind the back pass, it's stolen. Good defense forces a turnover. Sandy Requeno couldn't get to Dominique. Three pointer, can't hit. Marissa Bell with it, doubled in the corner, gives it back up to the blue team. Short shot, no good, and the red team will have it. Wild sequence, 8-19 to go, red team still up 25-18. Blue team couldn't score any points with that great chance. playing defense on Splish. Underneath, couldn't hit. Under eight minutes to play. Williams, underneath to Sandy Requeno, couldn't hit. Up ahead, Marissa Bell. Shot clock down to 15. Underneath, loose ball. Rebounded, Leathers. Leathers does it all herself. It's 25-20. Red team calls timeout. With 7.23 to go, red team leads 25-20. Seven ten left, 25-20, Slish, deep shot, it's a two-pointer, 27-20, seven minutes to play. Takes the three. Red team with it, under seven minutes to play. Scoreboard reads 28-20. Bell couldn't hit a three, so I don't know if they count that last shot as a three. Thought they called it a two. Layup is good. It's 28-22. An ankle injury. Alicia Barrow is down. Able to walk off, limp off.
Red team leads 28-22, 6.20 to go. As Barrow stretches on the side, doubt she'll be back in the game. Only 6.10 to go anyway. Dangerous pass. Tries to make the move inside, shot clock down to six. Foul is called. Exactly six minutes to play. Lenora Simmons is at the line, two shots. Air ball on the first. Second one too strong. Blue team has it down six. Williams brings it up. Leathers to cut the lead in half, couldn't hit. Loose ball. They'll stay with the blue team. 546 remaining. Good out of bounds play, but couldn't hit it. Red team comes away with it. Still leading 28-22, 5.37 to go. In the way, in the way up, she'll go to the line for two. Nikki Tabiri at the line. This is the first. Four missed free throws for the red team in a span of about 20 seconds. Williams, nice play by Williams, and now it's 28 24. That's a four point swing if the red team is able to hit the free throws. Twenty-eight, twenty-four, five, thirteen to go. Red team having trouble from the line. Couldn't hit that three-pointer. Blue team rebounds. Williams just went coast to coast on the last possession, trying to do it again. Jump ball is called. They'll stay with the blue team. Possession arrow points blue. Leathers inbounds. Leathers to Williams. Shot clock down to 10. Rebounded by Red. Tabiri with it. It's a three pointer. Couldn't hit. Loose ball. Williams with it. Two on two. Williams. Couldn't finish. Easy layup chance. It's good. Melissa De Jesus makes it 30 24. 408 to go. Leathers. Pull up three. Couldn't hit. Rebounded by the red team. Now four minutes remaining. Red team up 30 24. That's a two. It's good. Melissa De Jesus again makes it 32-24. Dominique Williams brings it up. Leathers. Williams to Leathers. Dangerous pass. Red team with it now. Jump ball. They'll go to the red team still. Oh. 
Beery brings it up. Good ball movement, it's a three-pointer, it's good. That may have put the game out of reach. 35-24, three minutes to play. Leathers. Nice move by Leathers, it's 35-26. Two forty to play. That's a two. It's good. Thirty-seven twenty-six. Two twenty-five left. Barrow back in. Air ball. Favoring that leg. Good ball movement. That's a three. Good hit. Marissa Bell with the rebound. Now two minutes to play. That's a two. Rebounded by Blue. Leathers. One on three. Pulls it back out. Three pointer is good. 37-29. 100 seconds to go. Red team up eight. That's a three. Couldn't hit. Blue team pushing. Down to 80 seconds. Leathers. They need eight points in 80 seconds. Johnson's pass was stolen. Red team with it. Couldn't finish the layup. Now one minute to go. 37-29 red team. Leathers, see if she takes a pull-up three. She does. Rebounded by Nicole Johnson. 50 seconds left, Leathers. That's a two. Short. Rebounded, couldn't put it in. Does so that time. Cassandra Swainder. 42 and 4, 10 seconds remaining. 37-31, red team. basically hold it if they want to. 29 on the game clock. 11 second difference between the game clock and the shot clock. It's 20 and 5, 10 seconds remaining. It's still a two possession game. Let's see if Leathers takes a three. Marissa Bell gets up on her. Leathers thinks she'll pull up and take a three. She does. Air ball. Only three seconds came off the clock there. Red team will hold for the final shot. 10 seconds to go. Down to five. See if she could hit a buzzer beater. Throws it up from way downtown. And the red team beats the blue team 37-31. Now they'll join forces and take on the current team. Starting five for the current Tigers. Jacqueline Torres, Jane Walsh, <laughs> Niyasha Irby, Elise Langley, and Latasha Harris. Two 20 minute halves. The current Lady Tigers are in the white, and the blue and the red are both the alumni. Underneath, layup no good. Jacqueline Torres with it. Walsh. Walsh's shot is sent away. Alumni with it. Simone Leathers. 
Levers tries to get the scoring started. Air ball. Ball back to the current Lady Tigers. Langley with it. She's listed as four foot eight inches. Langley with it. Swinging it, shot clock down to 13, puts it up, couldn't hit. Alumni with it again. Good ball movement. Underneath, and a foul is called. That'll be on Latasha Harris. Cassandra Swainder is at the line. Banks in the first free throw. Couldn't hit that one, splits the free throws and the alumni lead 1-0. Langley gets it to Walsh. Walsh back to Langley to Torres. Torres sets a three. Air ball. The alumni will have it. Up 1-0. Free throw by Cassandra Swainder with a one point. Two, three defense being, being played by the current Tigers. Leathers in the lane, tough shot, no. Swainder underneath, couldn't finish. Rebounded by Latasha Harris. Harris gets through the defense but can't finish. Alumni rebound. Tough shot. Couldn't finish. Loose ball and it's stolen. Loose ball. Langley. Langley has an advantage for those loose balls. In 4-8, she could get to them easier than the taller players. No shot. Non-shooting. Oh, it's a traveling call. Ball back to the alumni. Two and a half minutes in, alumni up 1-0. Nikki Tiberi steps into a three, rattles out, rebounded, put back is good. Nicole Slish has two points. Torres. Headshot is off, rebounded by the alumni. Leathers. Leathers is fouled. Foul is on Elise Langley, her first. First free throw is good. First point for Simone Leathers. Weather splits the free throws. Current Lady Tigers with the rebound. 4 0 alumni lead. Torres, three pointer, air ball. Weathers. Lady Tigers have not scored in the first three minutes and 23 seconds and counting. Slish to Tiberi. Slish, turnaround jumper is good. Nicole Slish with four points. And Bob DiNardo calls timeout. Three minutes and 38 seconds in, the, the alumni lead 6 0. You may have noticed there's a new head coach for the Lady Tigers, Bob DiNardo. Joe Medina went down to Florida. 
Bob DiNardo stepped in. DiNardo had success at Concordia in Baruch. He sees his team trailing the alumni 6 0. free throw line. <laughs> Mass subs come in for the alumni. It's the second free throw at 6-1. The Asia Irby. Dominique Williams brings it up. Barrow, it's a three-pointer. No good. He made both, actually. Irby at 6-2. Inside, tough shot, no good. Weathers, spin move, and a foul is called. It's the second foul on Elise Langley. Out of bounds play. Alumni still up 6-2, four and a half minutes in. Stolen, and then double teamed, Leathers. Foul is called. That's the first foul on Jacqueline Torres. Dominique Williams with it. Williams to Leathers. Leathers in the corner for three. It's good. Simone Leathers now with four points. And the alumni lead 9-2. Torres with it. Walsh. It's a three-pointer. No good. Rebounded by Leathers. Leathers pull up three, air ball. Barrow with it, doubled. Dominique Williams with it. Williams gets her own rebound. Current team got away with the foul. Definitely looked like Williams got fouled. Offensive foul, Langley can't believe it. That's the third foul on Elise Langley. If I was Williams, she could have attacked Langley and made sure Langley got her fourth foul. Williams, that's a three. Off the mark, rebounded by the current Lady Tigers. 9-2 alumni lead. Now foul is called on Williams. Langley comes out. Walsh. 
Six minutes in, the Lady Tigers have no field goals. They did it two free throws. Dominique Williams with it. Sandy Requeno. Out of bounds, they'll stay with the alumni. It's funny, Dominique Williams and Sandy Requeno both with the team last year, playing for the alumni. They both still go to the school, but because of National Junior College Athletic Association rules, the that shot is off. You're only allowed to play two seasons, so they both used up the eligibility. So although they still go here, now they're playing for the alumni and traveling is called on Irby. Nine two alumni, thirteen twenty four remaining in the first half. Two three defense by the current Lady Tigers. Weathers. Barrow got it. Requeno. Good ball movement down to eleven. Shot no good. Underneath. Rattles in. Eleven two. Tigers still looking for their first field goal. And the foul is called. It's an offensive foul. No, it's a defensive foul, excuse me. Jacqueline Torres at the line for two. is his first free throw. It's good. hits them both. Alumni lead 11-4. Lady Tigers still at no field goals. All four of their points have come from the free throw line. That's a three. Air ball. Rebounded by Walsh. Walsh took it herself. Couldn't hit. Alumni will get it back. 12-25 remaining. Alumni can push their lead to double digits if they hit a three. Slish and Leathers leading the alumni with four points apiece. Nicole Johnson with it. And a foul is called. First free throw is good. Hits them both. 13-4, alumni leading the current team. Jacqueline Torres with it. Harris gets it to Walsh. Walsh makes a move, pull up jumper off the side. Alumni with it. Over eight minutes in, the current team still has no field goal. That's a three. Out of bounds, they'll go to the current team. Sub comes in. Tigers looking for their first field goal. 
They trail 13-4. Eight and a half minutes in. Torres, it's a three. Off the mark. Rebounded by Irby. Gets it to Torres. Walsh. From way downtown. That foul is on Kiana Jean Lewis, her first. It's a one and one. 17 fouls for the Tigers already. Tanya Walser misses the free throw. Out of bounds, the alumni will have it back. 11-15 to play. Jacqueline Torres will come out. Anne Marie Johnson is in. Right underneath. Missed the layup. Had the good play out of bounds, too. Harris gets it to Anne Marie Johnson. Harris lost it momentarily. Gene Lewis out of bounds. Turnover, the alumni got it back. Nicole Johnson with it. That's a two. Walsh that was doubled in the corner. Got it to Latasha Harris. Harris. And Marie Johnson. Good defense by the alumni. And they get it back. Good transition defense. Nicole Johnson had nice moves and then lost it. And Marie Johnson. Jump ball. See the way the possession arrow goes. Goes to the Lady Tigers. 10-17 to play. Alumni up 13-4. Still haven't hit a shot from the field. All, all four points are from the free throw line. Latasha Harris. Walsh from really long range and she hits. Jane Walsh from way downtown and now it's 13-7. Took nearly 10 minutes for the first field goal. That's a three. Rattles out. Lady Tigers are still right in this game, only down six. Torres. Harris dribbles around. Lady Tigers still haven't hit a two-pointer. It's a two-on-one. Nice pass, layup, no. Johnson couldn't get the rebound. Harris. Underneath and it's fouled. Harris with her first points. And after some offensive struggles, the current team only trails 13-9. Harris hit the line trying to complete the three-point play. Free throw was good. Harris now has three points and the alumni lead 13-10. With 9.15 to go. Johnson steps into a three. Can't hit. Harris with it. Down low. Layup. Stays with the current team. Torres 
It's for the tie. Almost. Alumni. Stolen. Nice play by Kiana Jing Lewis. Can she finish? She can. Her first points of the game, and now it's 13-12. Eight points in a row for the Lady Tigers. They're finding their rhythm on offense now. To Barry. That slish can't hit. Anne Marie Johnson chases it down in the corner. And after being down 13-4, they didn't hit a field goal for the first nine minutes. They can now take the lead. Walsh for three. They will have given the Lady Tigers the lead. Rebounded. It's Torres. And Torres is fouled on the way up. This free throw is to tie. Torres hits. That's nine points in the row in a row for the current team. Lady Tigers can take their first lead of the game. Misses. It's 13-13. Eight minutes remaining in the first half. Nikki Tabari brings it up. Gets in the lane. Shot sent away by Torres. Goes out of bounds. Stays with the alumni. They reset the shot clock. It was at 14 right now. And get a reset. Nicole Johnson in the corner for three. Can't hit. Keanu Jean Lewis with the rebound. Natasha Harris. Harris's layup no good. Jean Lewis to put back no. Seven and a half minutes remaining in the first half. 13 13. 9 0 run by the Lady Tigers. Nicole Johnson. That's a two. Couldn't hit. Jean Lewis, another rebound. And a foul is called. Tanya Walser with the foul. That's her second. Torres. Torres gets it to Harris for the lead. Three pointer off the mark. Alumni push. Foul is called. That's the second foul on Latasha Harris. Alumni with the chance to take the lead. Nikki Tiberi at the line. Free throw is no good. Rebounded by Torres. And the foul is called on Slish. Now the Lady Tigers go to the line for a one and one. Torres trying to give the Lady Tigers the lead. Rims out. Torres with the steal. And the alumni get it right back. And now it goes back to the Lady Tigers. Wild sequence of events. Latasha Harris. The Lady Tigers take their first lead. Lady Tigers with an 11-0 run take a 15-13 lead. 640 remaining in the first half. Tiberi, Nicole Johnson, Johnson to tie the game, it's good. Her first points of the game tied at 15, 6.25 to go. Walsh for three, rebounded by the alumni. Oh, 
Three-pointer. Rebounded by Walsh. Under six minutes to play. Torres with it. They have numbers. Tips. And Marie Johnson is fouled. Johnson can't give the Tigers the lead. Shoot up. Second free throw is good. Her first point of the game gives the Tigers a 16-15 lead. Point guard Elise Langley is back in with three fouls. Jacqueline Torres is also in, she also has three fouls. Shot is altered. Tigers with it up 16-15. Harris cuts through the defense. Bounce pass. Layup is good. The Asia Irby with four points now, and the Tigers lead 18-15. A 14-2 run for the current team. Old school can tie with the three-pointer. Johnson giving directions. Foul is called on Latasha Harris, I believe. It is, that's three on Harris. Cole Johnson hits the first. Three fouls on Harris, Langley, and Torres apiece. Can't hit the second one, rebounded by Walsh. Now five minutes to play. Lady Tigers lead the old school 18-16. Irby gets it to Torres. Torres. Rebounded by the alumni. May have been a push off. Old school can tie or take the lead. Johnson. That's a two. Surprised they're settling for perimeter shots when you have so many players in foul trouble. Walsh. Torres. Harris. Loses it out of bounds to the alumni. Four ten to go, eighteen sixteen Tigers. Johnson, that will have tied it, put back is good. Slander ties the game, it's now eighteen eighteen. Three forty five to go as Langley crosses half court. Torres. Harris has it go through her hands. Alumni with it. Foul is called. Foul is on Jacqueline Torres. It's listed as her second foul. Nikki Tiberi is at the line, trying to give the alumni the lead. She does. It's 1918 alumni. alumni. Yeah. 
Sinks them both, it's 2018. 335 remaining. Clock not running. Now it does. Langley to Walsh. Tigers can tire take the lead. 20 on the shot clock. Walsh throws it up from deep. Loose ball. Langley has it. To Harris. Harris. Nice moves. And Harris now has seven points. Game is tied at 20 with 3.08 remaining in the first half. Nicole Johnson, three pointer for the lead. Too strong. Langley gets it to Harris. Eugene Lewis misses, rebounded by the alumni. 2.45 to go. Spin move underneath. Johnson gives the old school the lead, 22-20. Full timeout called by Bob DiNardo. Alumni lead 22-20 with two minutes and 33 seconds remaining in the first half. Interesting, the Tigers only have six players and three of them are in foul trouble. Don't know what would happen if two of them foul out. Langley. Torres, that's a two. Misses. 2-10 remaining in the first half. Tabiri with it. Nicole Johnson, that's a three, it's good. Fuck, bro, it's not a three. I said a three. Bob DiNardo thinks it's a two pointer, it's 25 20. Harris. Torres. Holds it. Torres gets it to Harris. Banks it in. Latasha Harris with the three pointer. She now has 10 points to lead the Tigers. It's 25-23. 88 seconds remaining in the first half. That was a two. Tip, Langley comes down with it. Gets it to Harris. Foul on Marissa Bell. with 10 points. Misses the front end of a one and one. Now 70 seconds to play in the first half. Alumni up 25-23. Tabiri, a three pointer, no good. Off to the side, out of bounds. All will go to the Tigers with 64 seconds remaining. Now have a two for one situation here. And 
there are seven Tigers, not six, as I said before. Walsh. That's a two for Ty. Now the alumni could conceivably go two for one. Well, they won't, they'll just decide to take the best shot available. Not sure if that was a two or a three, it's a two. 27-23. About a full second between the shot clock and game clock differential. Rebounded by the alumni. Shot clock turned off. Marissa Bell. Alumni could hold for the final shot if they choose, leading 27-23. Nicole Johnson. Tough shot is good. Nicole Johnson with 10 points in the first half. 29-23 alumni. Latasha Harris. Two seconds. One. Got put it up. No good. That shot won't count, and at halftime, the alumni lead 29-23. Weathers for three. Lady Tigers will have it. 29-23, beginning of the second half. Elise Langley. Torres has it. Gives it to Walsh. Steal. Leathers. Hits the layup. Simone Leathers now with six points. Alumni lead 31-23, 19-25 to go. Harris. Requeno with it. Loose ball. Torres for three. Can't hit. Alumni were just standing there. Now the alumni have it. Dominique Williams with it. Williams is fouled and she'll go to the line for two. First free throw is good. Dominique Williams, who played at Springfield Gardens. Hits both free throws, and now it's a 33-26 lead. Now it says 33-29. Foul is called. Some problem with the clock. It says 33-29. They don't have 29 points. Basket is good. Let's go. 18.40 to play. Alumni have 33 points. No. Let's go, Jack. That's a three pointer. Short. The alumni will have it. Now it says 33 31. Rebounded, Williams, Barrow, it's now 35-26, out of bounds. Ball got under the bleachers. Bob DiNardo calls timeout. 
It's going to be a full timeout with 18-15 to go. The alumni lead the current team 35-26. And that is the score, 35-26. Got the score ratio worked out. Play set to resume. 18-15 remaining. Dominique Williams with it. Williams lost it. Jacqueline Torres comes up with it. Torres. Jean Lewis got behind the defense. 35-28 under 18 minutes to play. Leathers. Walsh comes away with it. Shot from the corner, no good. Leathers. Seventeen and a half minutes remaining, 35-28. Alumni could take a double digit lead. Barrow, that's a two. Requeno saves it. Leathers. Lost it momentarily. Nice moves, but couldn't finish. Alumni right back, Dominique Williams. With the layup, it's 37-28. Relentless alumni defense. Well, I jinxed that, and Walsh, well, Walsh got behind the defense. Harris got fouled. She'll go to the line for two. Latasha Harris at the line. Misses the first. Almost got away with one. The alumni had Zikonji Batea all the way down at the end of the basket. Would have been two free points, basically. Well, they still got a tour underneath, but the shot is sent away by Latasha Harris. Barrow gets hit in the head. Barrow inbounding. Gets it to Leathers, fakes a three. Jumper short, Torres with it. 37-29, alumni lead. Harris to Walsh, Walsh for three. It's good. Jane Walsh makes it 37-32. Lady Tigers only trail by five. Still 16 minutes and 12 seconds to play. As Dominique Williams walks it up. 2-3 defense by the Lady Tigers. Three pointer off the mark, out of bounds. It'll go to the Lady Tigers. Exactly 16 minutes to play. Torres. 
wall. Out of bounds. Langley, Torres, a really deep three, Harris, Harris with the putback, we'll just make the lead, they wrote it up that way, Bethea, Nicole Johnson, couldn't hit, three pointer, it's good, that doubles the lead, it's 40-34. Police Langley brings it up, alumni in a 2-3 zone defense. Jacqueline Torres, swing pass to Walsh, Walsh for three, couldn't answer back. And then throws it out of bounds. Forty thirty-four. Torres to Walsh. Walsh hits that one. Jane Walsh makes it forty thirty-seven. With fourteen forty to play. Nicole Johnson couldn't finish. Rebounded by the Tigers. Tigers a chance to tie. Langley. Harris. Langley. That's a two. The four foot eight Langley couldn't hit, but there's a rebound by Torres. Torres couldn't hit. Torres gets her own rebound. Put back is good. It's 40 39 with under 14 minutes to play. Patea. Bethea, down low, shot sent away. Torres with it, Tigers can take the lead. Out of bounds, they'll go to the alumni. Bethea, couldn't hit Nicole Johnson. Johnson will go to the line. First free throw is good, 41-39. Hits them both, it's 42-39. Under 13 and a half minutes to play, Queensboro can tie. Langley crosses half court, 2-3 zone defense still being played by the alumni. Latasha Harris with it. Now Jane Walsh, Nicole Johnson on her. Double comes over. Walsh gets it to Harris. Harris in front of her own bench. Langley, that's a two. Off the mark, rebounded Bethea. Bethea, some nice moves. Okay. Foul is called on Jacqueline Torres. With 13.01 to go. Not sure what foul that is for Torres. Three pointer off the mark, and that will go to the Lady Tigers. Now it says 42 42 on the scoreboard. 
Not sure how that happened. Three pointer is good. Jacqueline Torres. And the Lady Tigers are leading on the scoreboard 45 42. I'm not sure if the scoring is right. Reads 45 42, 12 33 to play. Tigers apparently leading the alumni 45-42, 12 and a half minutes to play. Johnson. That's a two. Step down and foul. Lady Tigers will have it. Langley. Torres for three. It's good. Tigers lead 48-42. Jump ball is called. Eight forty-two. Langley brings it up. Walls. Torres swings it to Harris. Harris for three. That one's no good. Couldn't save it in. Eleven and a half minutes to play. Alumni down. Forty-eight forty-two. Gene Lewis, that's a two. Walsh retreats to the three point line, takes it back out. Langley. Torres. Torres from three. No. Rebounded Langley. Long rebound. Harris in the corner for three. It's good. And now it's 51 42. Tigers hitting from long range. Ten and a half minutes to play. Tigers up by nine. At least for now. Can't hit from short. Balance will go to the line for two. This is the first one. It's the second, it's 51-43. Langley, loose ball, Nicole Johnson, ahead of the pack, Gene Lewis back on defense. And a foul is called. Watch your pass.
Torres for three. That one's no good. It's 51. 5144, 10.04 to go. Apparently the points that were added in the second half to the scoreboard was because they weren't added before. Blocking foul is called. Nine fifty one to play. Keanu Jane Lewis, Langley, Torres, rebounded by Walsh underneath, couldn't finish. Underneath, the foul was called. Lady Tigers trying to hold on to a 51-44 lead with 9.33 to go. First free throw is good. Hits them both, it's 51-46. Now nine and a half minutes remaining as Jacqueline Torres brings it up. Walsh, three-pointer. Gene Lewis, put back is good. 53-46. 9.15 to go. Got away with the foul. Jump ball. Possession arrow gives it to the alumni. Dangerous pass, it's stolen. And then stolen right back. Three-pointer, short. Shot was tipped. Torres with it. Tigers up 53-46, 8.42 to go. And Torres is fouled. Torres at the line for two shots. Five forty-six, eight thirty-seven to go. Three-pointer is good. Fifty-five forty-nine. Still eight twenty-five to play. Torres with it. Walsh for three. Tigers answer back. Jane Walsh from downtown. It's 58-49 with eight minutes remaining. That's a two-pointer. Got the rebound, put back is good. 58-51, still 7.45 remaining. Torres. That was a two-pointer, no good. Rebounded by the alumni. That's a two. Missed, rebounded by Walsh. 
Torres with it. Take the shot. Harris underneath. Harris is fouled. Got whacked in the head. And Bob DiNardo calls timeout. Full timeout. Full timeout with 7.05 remaining. The Lady Tigers lead the alumni 58-51. Ref is at the scorer's table discussing something. They switch to team fouls, now each team has five. Latasha Harris at the free throw line. First free throw is good, 59-51. I got a self the shooter. Sixty fifty one, seven oh five to go. Three pointer, no good. Out of bounds, they'll go to QCC. Torres. Torres in the lane. Floater is good at 62-51. 6.38 remaining. Two three zone defense. Marissa Bell. That shot is off, rebounded by Anne Marie Johnson. Jacqueline Torres with it now. Jane Walsh, Torres, pass is stolen. Underneath the foul and one. So go to the line to complete the three point play with 6.05 remaining. 62-53, alumni still trail. Nikki Tabiri completes the three-point play. Now 62-54 QCC over the alumni. Now under six minutes to play. Lewis makes it 64-54, 5.37 to play. 
Five and a half to play now, 64-54. Alumni need a rally. Stays with the alumni, 518 to play. We've got every, every city there. It changed. Rebounded underneath, rebounded by Torres. Torres comes out with it. It's a three on one. Only the team of alumni comes in. Blue team for the red team, basically. Now five minutes to play. Walls, that could put it out of reach. That would have made it a 13 point game with five minutes to play. Still 64-54, Nicole Johnson with it. Barrow swings it to Leathers, Leathers for three. Rebounded by Johnson, Barrow steps into a three. Off to the side, underneath. Walsh comes away with it for QCC. Four and a half to play. Alumni had their chances, Walsh steps into a three. Air ball. Alumni get it back, 425 to play. Dominique Williams with it now. Williams to Barrow, Barrow to Leathers. Leathers. Out of bounds, stays with the alumni, 411. Leathers. Barrow, that's a two, rattles out. Walsh throws up the tough shot, couldn't hit it. Williams, Leathers ahead of the pack, pass was thrown too far. QCC gets it back with 3.48 to play. Jacqueline Torres. Dominique Williams playing tough defense on her. Tries to get it to Harris. Did so. Almost turned over. Torres on the floor. Ball ends up in the bleachers. Alumni have it back with 3.30 to play. Weathers crosses half court. Shot is altered. Harris has it. Double team comes over. They're calling that a foul. Sure looked like a tie up. Misses the front end of a one and one. Williams has it. Nice bounce pass. And the layup at 64-56 with three minutes to play. 
That was a lollipop pass, got it to Walsh though. Walsh loses it and she's fouled. his first free throw off the side. As they're open underneath and it's out of bounds. That one hurts for the old school. That would have made it a two possession game. Still 64-56 and the foul is called. With 2.45 to go. Jane Walsh is at the line. It's the front end of a one and one, 65-56. Hits them both, it's 66-56. 10 point game, two minutes, 40 seconds remain, Williams. Williams is fouled. Alumni trying to come back from a double digit deficit now. Try to force overtime. Or win it in regulation. Williams hits the first, 66-57. Williams hits them both. Old School goes into a press. Williams on Torres. Langley has to go through her hands. 2.34 to go. The the alumni have it back. I need to stop. Let's go. I need to stop. Williams, Langley Honor. Take Harris. Oh, Out of bounds. Use the clock. 221 to go. Old school have it right back. Weathers makes it a six point game. 66 60, full court press. Double in the corner. Lost it. I can't believe that. No way. Stop! Lady Tigers have it. Thought they lost it to the old school. I'm not so sure about that call. Now Williams is called for a foul with 2.02 to play. Four foot eight Langley at the line for two. Trying to make it a three possession game. First one is short. Second one is off the mark, still 66 60, under two minutes to play. Torres breaks up the pass. Old School calls timeout with 1.57 to go with 66-60 alum, alumni trail.
That would have cut it to four. And then a foul is called with 152 remaining. This is crucial for QCC, making free throws to put the game out of reach. Jane Walsh is at the line for two shots. First shot is good. Makes it 67-60. This is the second one, rebounded by Barrow. Old school trying to come back. Leathers, spin move, lost it. Torres with it now. And another foul is called. This is the first one. Splits the free throw, 68-60. 100 seconds to go. Williams. Foul is called. Williams at the line. It's the first, 68-61. Who's got balls, got shot. Old school with the rebound. Three pointer off the mark. Jane Walsh has it for the Tigers. Torres. 80 seconds to go. Deanna Jean Lewis. Lewis lost it. QCC with it. Jump ball is called. One oh nine to go, sixty eight sixty one QCC. Williams. Two three zone defense by QCC. Mid range jumper, air ball. Underneath, couldn't put it in. Old school not pressing. Now they just foul Torres. Fifty two and one ten seconds to go. Torres' first free throw is good. 69-61. Splits the free throws. Harris takes it away and she'll go to the line. There have been a lot of free throws in the second half for each team. Harris's first free throw off the mark. Latasha Harris hit the line. Shot is short. 
46 seconds to go. Williams, nice moves and finishes, 69-63. Surprised they don't foul. Thirty-two and nine, ten seconds to go. Eight second differential between the game clock and the shot clock. Harris beats the shot clock at 71-63 with eight seconds to go. That's it, QCC wins 71-63.